Welcome to the Epilog Fusion Laser Cutter Training 1. You're going to need every piece of equipment that you can see here. The laser cutter itself, the fire extinguisher, the laptop computer, the air filter, also known as the fume extractor, the compressed air pump, and the material itself. Let's get started. If the lid of the laser cutter is open, go ahead and close it. Then reach all the way down here and turn the laser cutter on. Up at the control panel, you'll see epilogue laser initializing and a bunch of blinking green lights. That's good. Go ahead and log into the laptop computer. And while it's logging in, look for this USB cable running out of the laptop computer all the way around and into the back of the laser cutter at the USB port. Without that connection on either end, you'll be hard pressed to send jobs to the laser cutter. Open Illustrator, create a new file, give it a name that you'll be able to recognize later, and set the units to inches. Set the width of your artboard to 32 inches and the height of your artboard to 20 inches, and click that blue Create button. Look at your artboard, the big white rectangle. It's 32 inches by 20 inches. You just made it, and it represents on the computer the entire bed of the laser cutter in real life. So what are we gonna do with this gigantic artboard representing the entire bed of the laser cutter? We are going to use a tiny little one inch by one inch square of it to test our metal. Go up to your view menu and turn on rulers, show rulers. Take a moment to confirm that the X axis is showing 32 inches and the Y axis is showing 20 inches just like you set it to be. Select the rectangle tool and left click and drag to draw a rectangle of any size. It doesn't matter at this point because we're going to use the width and the height parameters over here to set the width and the height numerically to one inch wide and one inch high. Nearby, you're going to set the X parameter to four inches and the Y parameter to four inches. But notice how this puts the center of the rectangle at 4 on X and 4 on Y. We want the upper left corner of the rectangle to be at 4 comma 4. So let's set our X and Y value to 4.5 and 4.5. Now the corner of our rectangle is cleanly on 4 inches on X and 4 inches on Y. So why is the corner any better than the center? Well, when we place our real material onto the bed of the laser cutter, it's just going to be easier to line up the corner of the material than to guess at where the center is. Okay, now let's look over here at the appearance part of the user interface. And keep in mind that your square has to be selected in order for the appearance tab to mean anything. First, you're gonna to wanna to set your stroke width to be 0 0.001. A stroke width of 0 0.001 is going to instruct the laser cutter to go into cut mode. Then you're going to find the fill swatch and you're going to click on it, bringing up all these other swatches of potential fills. And you're going to choose the one with the red slash through it. This means no fill at all. If you let this rectangle have a fill in it, it's going to confuse the laser cutter into thinking it's supposed to engrave this area with some sort of pattern. And we don't want that. We want to just cut the shape of the rectangle. So, no fill. Then you're going to click on the swatch for the stroke, and you're just going to confirm that it is absolute black. Zero, zero, zero. Now you're ready to file, print, and change the printer to the Epilogue Engraver Win64 Fusion. Then come on down here to click Setup, and you'll get this warning. Wouldn't you really like Illustrator to deal with the setup? But you want to answer, no, I don't. So click Continue to bypass this warning. This is going to bring you to the Windows Print dialog box, where you're going to make sure that the Epilogue Engraver Win64 Fusion is the selected printer and then you're going to click the Preferences button here to finally arrive at the epilogue-specific laser cutter print settings. And by print, we mean cut. In the epilogue user interface, we're going to make our horizontal and vertical parameters match the width and the height of our artboard. 
32 inches by 20 inches. And then, because this training is going to use acrylic that is 1 8 of an inch thick, we're gonna set our speed and our power and our frequency accordingly. Set your speed to 8%. Set your power at 100% maximum, and set your frequency at 100% maximum. It's critical that these settings be calibrated to the material, acrylic in our case, and the thickness of your material, 1 8 of an inch in our case. Click OK to confirm the epilogue laser cutter settings. Click Print to confirm the Windows operating system settings. And then click Print again to have Illustrator launch the print job. And if you see this error message, don't worry. Click OK to clear the error. Come back to File Print to bring up that Illustrator print window. And this time come down to Color Management and look at your printer profile. If your profile is set to S or GB, and then this mess of numbers, go ahead and change it to Adobe RGB. Click Print one more time and your job should head off to the laser cutter.